morning, Mr. Conan. What are you doing? Good morning, Jacob. I am doing an experiment. Well, do you mind if I help? <laughs> of course you can, Jacob. Come on over here. I'll show you what I'm doing. Look up here on the windowsill. I have two plants. Both the plants are in pretty much the same location and get the same amount of sunlight. This first plant, however, I water every single day. This plant, however, I only water every other day. So, Jacob, in this experiment, what do you think it is that I'm testing? Well, since they're the same type of plant and in the same location, are you testing how well they grow depending on how much water they get? That's absolutely correct, Jacob. I'm measuring how much the plants grow based on how much water they get. So why did you place them both in the same place? Wouldn't it have been fun to put one somewhere and somewhere else and maybe maybe have different amounts of soil? Oh, oh, we could also change uh, what, what we, music we play for them. <laughs> easy, easy. Calm down, Jacob. That actually wouldn't work in this experiment. Let's talk about why. If we set up the experiment in one of the ways you suggested by putting the two plants in different locations, this first plant would receive more water but less sunlight. The second plant would get less water but more sun. So do you see the problem yet, Jacob? Oh, what, Mr. Koning? I think I do. We're changing too many things. At the end of my experiment, I couldn't say that it was the water or the sunlight that made it grow more, because I changed too much. You got it, buddy. In order for an experiment to be fair, you can only change one thing at a time. Everything else in the experiment should stay the same. In your experiment, the thing that you change is called the independent variable. In order for a test to be fair, you must always only have one independent variable. And remember, that's the thing that you're going to change. In our case, it was the amount of water that the plants received. You know what? I think I get it. All of those things that I talked about, like changing where they were and the music that they were listening to, if I selected just one of those, they all could make good experiments. But I can only select one. <laughs> That's right, Jacob. And the one thing you select becomes your... Independent variable! <laughs> right you are, Jacob. So, Mr. Koning, is there a name for everything else? What do you mean, Jacob? You know, like all of the stuff that we could have changed, but we didn't. Like keeping the plants in the same location, or letting them have the same amount of light, or using the same kind of plant. That's a great question, Jacob. And yes, they do actually have a name. They're called the controlled variables, or sometimes just the control. The control, or the controlled variables, are the things that stay the same in the experiment. The point of a control is to keep an experiment fair. By keeping everything the same and changing just one thing, we can say that that one thing did or didn't have an effect on what we were testing. Wow, very cool. So is that all there is to an experiment, Mr. Koning? Nope. When it comes to scientific experiments and variables, there's just one more part. But let's look at that after spring break. Sounds good to me, Mr. Koning. taking care of my science experiment during spring break. Me not science experiment. Me friend. Oh, I didn't mean you, Mr. Monster. I was talking about my plants. Me thought you were talking about me. <laughs> you know I would never talk about you like that. So, when you watered them, did you water the left one every day and the right one every other, like I asked? Oh, yes. Me did good. Great. Thanks, buddy.
Well, morning, Mr. Coning. Morning, Mr. Monster. Well, good morning. Ready to go check on our experiment, Jacob? Yeah, let's do it. Me stay here. Bye, guys. Well, would you look at that. Wow, yeah. The plant that got more water is bigger. So what does that tell you, Jacob? It tells me that the one thing we did change, which is our independent variable, in this case the water, did have an effect on the plants. And how do you know it wasn't something else? Like how much sunlight each plant received that made one plant grow bigger than the other one? That's easy. We kept everything else the same. The same amount of light, the same place, the same temperature even. By keeping all the other variables the same, I can pretty positively say that by watering one of the plants more, in this case, actually caused it to grow bigger. I would have to agree with you there, Jacob. And all those variables that you kept the same to keep the experiment fair, what are those called? Do you remember? Controlled variables! But wait, wasn't there one last thing you wanted to tell me about? Yep, that's right, Jacob. And the other thing is called the dependent variable. Wait! Before you tell me the answer, Mr. Koning, let me see if I can figure out what the dependent variable is by myself. So, I know what dependent means. It means to depend on something. Like how I depend on my parents to give me a place to live. So far, so good. Keep going. So, in our experiment, the dependent variable must be something that depends on something else. Like in our case, how tall the plant got depended on how much water you gave it. That's right, Jacob. An easier way to think about it is like this. In an experiment, the dependent variable is what you're trying to measure. In our experiment, we were trying to measure how big the plants got. We found out that how big a plant got depended on how much water you gave it. So the thing that we changed was how much water. So that's our independent variable. The thing that we measured was how big it got. So that's our dependent variable. All right, I get it. When I do an experiment, the thing that I'm measuring is my dependent variable. The thing that I change and test is my independent variable. Everything else should stay the same, and those are my controls. That's right, Jacob. So for your next experiment, all you have to remember is that you need one independent variable, and remember, that's the thing that you change, one dependent variable, and again, that's the thing that you're trying to measure, and finally, keep everything else the same, you should have a fair test. Awesome. Thanks for your help, Mr. Koning. Now how about we have that dance party you promised? You got it. Hit it, Mr. Monster. Dance party.